Okay, now you might be able to hear me. I forgot to plug in my headset for my mic. Were well, you gonna just ignore that dumbness of mine? <laughs> okay, let's check if uh, my microphone's actually working now. Yeah, you couldn't hear a thing I was saying. Whoopsie, sorry about that. Hopefully when I plugged it in, that it actually worked. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, focus fucking again. There you go, you can finally hear me now. I didn't, I didn't realize that it was gonna do that. I completely forgot that it was plugged out. I even said to myself, make sure to plug it in before testing it. And I ended up doing the complete opposite. That's, that's great, that's great. For those who are watching on YouTube, I will be doing a live stream of this on Facebook, so if I'm responding to people, it's in the chat. Unfortunately, I don't know how to put the chat on the screen, so you don't really know what's going on. But, um, yes, if I'm responding to people, it's gonna be in the chat on Facebook during the live stream. So, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy your stay here for a bit, <laughs> whilst I try and feed these spiders and a tarantula. <laughs> but yeah, uh, for those who are on YouTube, you can always go down to the link in the description. There'll be a link to the Facebook group where you can join us for Sunday live streams at 3pm UK time, where we'll be having tarantula discussions and also feeding tarantulas. It's a pretty, pretty insane and pretty lovely thing to do, so yeah. It's all, it's all for the community to get together and stuff like that. But yes, let's check on Asterix. Uh, she's down in her burrow, like this is her burrow over here. Like she has burrowed a bit. And it's just great to see her down there, like she she's so cute. She's adorable. She's got under this uh, cord book. Oh, she's coming out now. She's felt the vibrations and now she's like, what's going on? <laughs> but yeah, I did add, I did water her enclosure. Both of my enclosures. Watered this one and watered my other spider. Um, the day before yesterday, um, I didn't take off the lid because I'm still a bit worried about the whole like distance there. Because I'm not sure if she'll just fly out <laughs> of the enclosure if I suddenly put water in it. Because she definitely did run when I put uh, when I put this under the sink and I rinsed water on the top here. Because when I did it with um, the spray watering can, uh, it didn't go through properly, so it was kind of like dripping, but not enough. So I put it under the sink and that went through perfectly fine. And it did enough, it did the job right, and she definitely moved. <laughs> so, yeah. I know it's probably not the most accurate way of dealing with it, but it's it's the way I did it. And I saw no issues with it, she was fine afterwards. So. I got the corners in and stuff like that, I never went onto her, so. It, it shouldn't have harmed her in any way, so. It's a bit good. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take the lid off today, I'm gonna have to pop a crooked in there. That's what I'm going to have to do today. I'm not sure how she'll react because this is this is her new en new enclosure set up because I added more substrate and like she's got things in different places now. It's not her new new enclosure because her new enclosure is still on the way. It has not shown up yet. I will be putting in, the, in that when it shows up. This one was updated to perfectly uh, match her just so it gives her a little bit more time and a little bit more space to go around and about before her new enclosure shows up. Now with this. I'm not entirely sure how she's going to react, and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get a cricket out of here if she does not want to eat. <laughs> that's going to be the hardest part. Especially if she goes on top of the lid. Oh, if she goes on top of the lid, that's going to be... Hoping, in somewhat in the future, very long, long future to get a, um, I can't remember what the name is, but it's the tarantula with the heart on it, heart on the butt. I know there's two species, but look very identical, like that, but it's one particular one, and it doesn't grow very big either. It's a very, it's a very small, like, palm of the hand kind of tarantula, and it grows to that full length, and I, I just absolutely adore that tarantula. It's absolutely beautiful. My mouth is all the way over here. 
Yeah. Yeah, her furniture was ordered at least two months ago. And it just sucks how it's taking forever to get here. But she, she does have her, uh, she does have the other enclosure that'll keep her company for a while now. Anyhow, this is the other uh, spider. This is my one, not my sister's. This is my one. I added um, this one since it always webs up at the top and stuff like that. I added more grass seeds. Now these grass seeds are um, friendly to tarantula spiders, uh, cats, dogs, and all that kind of stuff. I made sure of that. It is safe and it, it grows nicely in there. I didn't obviously bury them very well, <laughs> but um, it will grow upwards, and then they, then the, the spider can just use it because it's just it's used up all of these, and these lines here are all dead grass. It's all dead grass. So I put extra ones here, and hopefully that it'll web them up because it does an awful amount of webbing, and so I just hope it just webs those up and it'll look a bit nicer. But yeah, this one, um, I don't know see but it's up right there there we go just up at the top there it's always up at the top but I've come to conclusions that this one doesn't really move much if I take off the lid I can take it off I can leave it off it won't run out in the enclosure I've done that more than many times before when I've put water in there and stuff like that and it just doesn't run out so it's, it's very it's very stabilized it, it's it understands what home is and this one uh, it's up here this one has a piece of, uh, wood that I think used to be a part of a tree, and it's gone upwards here. Then you've got a stone here, that's, a, that's there, and you've got the rest of the substrate. And yeah. Oh, and there's also a dead spider down here because my sister didn't remove it when uh, she put a new spider in here. Which is the unfortunate part about that. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, there will be some buffering, unfortunately. Every now and then, it just it just happens. It sucks, but until I get a new laptop, it's just gonna be that way for a bit. Especially with um, connections and that. It's just uh, the spider is up at the top. Let me show you, but put me down there. Up at the top there. I'm not sure what species these are. I have absolutely no idea, but um looks like this one is the same one as my one so that's fine I have dealt with that one before um, and this one I think this one is very very tiny this one is very very small this one has rocks in multiple different rocks and um, it's multiple different rocks really and substrate and stuff like that I don't know where this one is but I do know it's it's hide is here this one is very, very small. I've seen it before, but I don't know where it is in the enclosure, but I think it's down there somewhere in its hide. That's where it usually goes. I've seen it eat before, so I'm not really worried about that one. Um, and then you got this one, which is... Ah, this is a Daddy Long Legs. This is a Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> this is a Daddy Long Legs. I've seen a Daddy Long Legs eat so many times, I've kind of gotten used to it. I'm surprised it hasn't done so far, but it, it just hasn't, and it's amazing. So, uh, I think I'll definitely use this grass, because I think if you do end up with dead grass, it just doesn't end up molding. So, it's it's very useful. But yeah, this one is a Daddy Long Legs. Try and see if I can show you up there. Just just up there real, real quick. It's uh, up by the lid. I'm not sure you can see, but yeah. You can see the body parts, but not the legs themselves. But yeah, that's that. Alright, so I will be uh, attempting to feed Asterix now. She's my main tarantula, and I have to feed her. Yeah, we'll see how we're gonna do this. <laughs> okay, she's there. So we might get a good takedown out of this. I'm not entirely sure. We may, we may not. It, it all depends. But yeah, I'm gonna go fetch a cricket, and we'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I gotta cook it. Okay, this is, uh, interesting. Oh, what I should have done is open the, the enclosure. I should have opened the enclosure first before getting the cricket. I'm a stupid, stupid little... Oh my gosh. <laughs> should have opened the cricket. Okay. Well, we did this before. I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna use my thighs to open it. That was the way I did before. Without trying to squish the tarantula in any form of matter. Okay. There we go. No, it's actually just okay. She ripped, she ripped. Oh yeah, she's a day. Okay. Okay, so. Here we go, I guess this is all or nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm terrified. I don't know what she's gonna do, that's the thing. Okay, I have to turn her this way because I can see where she is. Oh dear lord. Okay, I got the cricket here. It's a tiny little cricket because I don't think that she'll eat very much because last time she didn't eat at all. I just don't want to give her too much just because she is in Primo or something like that. I kind of want her to go down that hole. I want her to go down that hole. I want her to go down like her burrow just so I don't end up losing. Ooh. Oh, she perked up. She perked up. She knows what I'm doing. She perked up. Oh gosh. No, no thank you. She knows what I'm doing. Oh, this is the most frustrating part about this. <laughs> I'm trying to get like a good angle so you guys can see this, but also at the same time I'm trying to get myself a good angle so I can see her. Oh my gosh. This is like insane. I don't know if she'll mm. gosh, this is this is frustrating. This is like one hundred percent frustrating. And scary. <laughs> Oh my lord, she's just chilling there, look at, staring at me, and I'm like, freaking out on her face. Oh, I need to grow some balls, dude. If she wasn't so high up to the lid, then I wouldn't mind it. If she was a bit further down, then fine, but I had to give her the substitute so she had more room to burrow. Ah, oh, I this. It won't even come off, dude. Okay. Oh, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know if I have the courage to do <laughs> I've done this so many times and yet I still freak out about it. Gosh, why? Why can I handle the spiders a lot more easier than a tarantula? I mean, she isn't that big. I mean, she is definitely bigger than the other spiders I just dealt with, but... She isn't that big. Like, she, she probably is the size of, like, a probably a really... A big uh, house trench. That's probably the only size she's at right now. And to be honest, I'd probably be able to handle that a lot more. <laughs> but I guess just knowing that she's a tarantula just changes the whole perspective. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened. Can't see anything. Okay, is it in there? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. It's. It's on the outside of the lid. It's on the outside of the lid. It's on the outside of the lid. Oh, this lid. <laughs> it's on the outside of the freaking lid. Oh my. Oh, I just tore it apart. I just tore that apart. Oh my gosh, why? Oh gosh, why? Why in a holy moly did I just do that? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to see if I can get it down. There we go, it fell down. It's gone in there, but I... Oh, okay. I guess... But I don't think she'll eat it though, that's the only thing. I don't think she'll eat it. I know you guys can see it right now, but I'm just kind of looking at her. 
I think she needs a life ticket, to be honest. Oh, well, it's in there, and if she doesn't eat it, I will take it out later on, and I will give her a life cricket. Just to see, because I don't think she'll eat anything dead. But, I'm going to give her a chance to eat something dead, just so I don't have to feed her another something. <laughs> so, it's there, she can have it if she wants it. It is dead now, I did rip open its butt. So it's used to be all out. Uh, but it is somewhat intact. And to be honest, I've seen crickets literally be decapitated and yet they still end up moving. So even if it does move an inch, she probably will end up eating it. And that's the best thing about that. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't realize. I don't have a lot of gunk on it. And on my tongues. I didn't realize that at first. Okay, well that is asterisk going to be done for live stream. <laughs> Okay, now another one, which is my one, here we go, let me just read some of the comments real quick, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> it is, it is also a matter of my laptop, laptop matters as well. It, it does. Oh, that's okay. I must have got deleted. Yeah, it's always fine on YouTube because I get the, uh, the download from Facebook of the live stream. So it, it is the matter of Wi-Fi connection and laptop. It's all, all those things combined. Yeah, I've done so many things like this and yet I still get scared about them. Yeah, I'll undo this lid now and try and see if I can get a cricket. Do this. I don't think you probably won't be able to see it eat on camera, though I'm pretty sure this it will fall to the ground and it will have to pick it up some eventually. But you know, oh, it's at the very top. Why? I I told for a highly of you, and now you're gonna do this to me. Okay. Let's make sure which area you are in still. There, there. I doubt it would move to be honest, but we'll go with it. Hey, no, get in there. I right, tried getting out. Right, it's in there, and I know that the spider will get it eventually. Because I, the only time I've ever seen the spider eat is whenever um, I give it time to. So that's just that's just when it happens, basically. It does it in its own time? Though I have seen it eat um, right after I fed it. Gave it the gave the cricket on live stream, which was insane. It was the first time ever. Um, but yeah, that one is completed. Now I got this one, which is the one with the large stick. And this one looks to be the same species, I think. So I'm gonna go and do this lid, just so I'm not risking my life here. The difficultness from the cricket. Go. Oh, it went into a little ball. Bless. Okay, now I'm gonna go get cricket and I'll feed it. reason these crickets are more um I guess filled with juice but then again I have been feeding them so that's probably a reason why don't know 
I did get them extra water, so that's probably another thing as well. Alright, so I'm just going to drop this in because it's at the very top, so... Yeah, it's on the side now. When I did that, that's interesting. It's on the side now. Right there. It did try and get out. <laughs> anyway, the cricket is in there. It can go get it itself. That's interesting how it did try and get out. Damn, okay. Well, that one is completed. It has the cricket in there. It can go get it when it wants it. This one, I have no idea where this one is. This one is a very, very small one, so I don't think I'm going to see it even if I do see it. <laughs> um, it's very tiny. Oh, actually, yeah, I see it. That I mentioned that, it's right there. It's actually out there. It has a web. It does. There is, there is a web residue, um, but it's, it's right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's on the web. And it's it's like a brown thing on the on the on the brown thing, <laughs> but yeah, it's there. I don't know if you can see it, but leave a comment if you can see it, because I'll be pretty interesting if you can. So I'm gonna open this up. It is in there, and I'll give it a bit small for it, because I don't know if it will eat very much. But this one, I've been told that it goes right up to the top whenever the lid's open, but I doubt it will. But I think it just went into its hide. Yeah. It just hid away. I think it was getting used to being left alone, but now I've just opened the enclosure and it's hid away. But I'll go get a little cricket for it. Okay, I have a cricket. This one's really small and I have it like attached very unsafely so yeah, you can see how loose that that is it probably just could jump away but i'm gonna throw this in go in there there we go it's on the web oh we might see this one actually come out and fetch it because it did go on the web it went on the web it was possible the spider might come out and actually eat it Cause it did go on the web, it, it shook the web pretty badly, though it could just scare the tarantula. Well, not tarantula, the spider, it could just scare the spider instead, rather than the spider going out and eating it. But it is in there, I'm sure the spider will eventually find it. But yeah, it's in there. It's right behind here, went right behind there, the webs are, it fell down into the webs and then went down to here. And this, the, end, the hide is right here. So yeah, that's that one done. And oh, 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 looks like we have a taker. Look. I'm gonna try and show you this guy's book. Try and see if I can show you. Oh, where is it? Let me show you this way. Up there. It has the, it has the cricket. The spider has the cricket. It has it right there. It's eating it. Yeah, if you just give them time, they'll, they'll do it eventually in their own time. And you can see the marvelous of it. He's just eating it up. That's awesome. He's finally having a snack. There we go. And I wonder if Ashix is eating the other one. No, she's still in the same place as she was before, but she still has the cricket in there, so she can always eat it whenever she wants to. Let's check the other spider. Well, this one actually I haven't done. That's a day long legs. We'll check on this one then. Yeah, this one's a day long legs. I think it's going to bolt every time I try and open this. Let me see if it bolts. Oh yeah, it, it got scared. Oh, it went downwards. That's interesting. Oh, now it's going right back up. It's going right back up. Nope, don't, don't open it yet. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to go fetch a cricket. And hopefully it stays in there while I do that, and yeah, be right back. Alright, I'm back. 
cricket. Pretty decent sized cricket to be honest. I know this trend I know the spider, which is I don't will eat it. I know it will. I'm pretty positive it will. I have no no doubts it won't, so. The only problem is trying to get it in there because it will bolt. I'm pretty sure about that. It will bolt. Oh, fuck me, okay. Get in there, there you go. Pardon my French, but that came out very, very rapidly. Um yeah, there you go, it's still in there. Uh, though I doubt we'll watch it on the stream because it'll probably just take its time getting down there and stuff like that, like the other spiders do. Oh, it's already working its way down. Oh, it's working its way down. It is definitely working its way down to the food, I think. Because it's, it's right there. It's right there and the food's there, so. Possible we might fee see it feed or something? You might not be able to see the spider itself, because it is a day long legs, but you might be able to see the food being carried. Get closer. You might be able to see the food being carried up. If we get a bit longer, it might do it. Because the food is there. Let's go wait for the day long legs to go and get it. Give it enough time to it probably will. This is staying still at the moment, the spider. I don't know if you can see it because you probably can't see its body, but not the legs. The legs are very hard to see. I think that's the only dead giveaway of a dead long legs is you see the body. And then later on you see the legs <laughs> that are attached. No, it's not doing anything right now. I guess we can give it some time. Oh, 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 actually, it's going for it, it's going for it. It's right above it, it's right above the cricket. Go on, do it. Do it. Do it. Come on, do it. Do it for the live stream. Do it for the live stream. Come on. Oh, no, it just went around. Didn't go for the cricket. It just went around the cricket. What? Why are you going around the cricket? Oh, I think it's strongling its webs or something. Oh, the cricket is moving. The cricket is, I repeat, moving. <laughs> the cricket is moving, so that might be an alert. To the spider. Yeah, the, tr the uh, dead long legs is just hopping on its webs. It's not doing much. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any action out of that. But yeah. Those are the spiders that have just been fed today. <laughs> a lot of a lot of feedings today because obviously um, I haven't fed these ones in a uh, few weeks uh, since I haven't had because uh, I didn't have crickets last week either. But this one I do, so it's just it's there now, and I've all fed them. So these are all the uh, oh actually oh the tiniest spider just got out and wrapped up the cricket. Oh, as soon as I picked up the enclosure, it ran away. Wow. I don't know if you saw that, but the, the spider did come out and it was wrapping it up. That's insane. That's insane. That's actually insane. Okay, so we got more here. This one obviously ate four. You got so many here. <laughs> and then Ashix, obviously. Ashix still has not attempted to eat the other one, though I, though I think she might decide to get it later on, who knows, she might just stumble upon it and be like, oh, ooh. But yeah, let's see if I can try and get these all in the same shot here. Maybe. <laughs> no, I can't, but they're all, they're all here. <laughs> these are all of the spiders that we fed today, and one tarantula right here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the live stream, it's been amazing. The other one's right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. These are all the spiders that we fed today. Along with one single tarantula, it's been amazing doing this. <laughs> Trying to feed Ashix is a, is a heart racing moment, but we did the rest. I'm surprised on how this one acted when I tried to give it the food because it did try and run out the enclosure, which is something I haven't had for the spider before. Not with these ones anyhow, and not with mine either. So yeah, these these seem to be good. If you have any tips and tricks or anything like that on what else I can do with these three spiders, 
then do leave them down in the comments. I want to know if we can dress up these clothes a bit more, what we can add, any better techniques on how to feed them and stuff like that. So yeah, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below and I'll definitely 100% read them and do them my review and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and it's been a great experience uh, live streaming with you all. Showing you asterisks, showing the other spiders. They don't have names, I don't believe. My sister has not named these and I have not made my spider either. Uh, but on Sunday next week, uh, 3 p.m. UK time, we'll be doing another live stream. It won't be a feeding live stream, obviously, because I feed my tarantulas every two weeks. So we will be just discussing tarantulas, how and what to do, and stuff like that. Just, just a general tarantula discussion about everything. That's what, what I really like doing. And it just it just helps with the community and get talking out and discussions and always bringing up new things that we could do and all that kind of stuff. It just it just makes adds makes and adds a lot more to it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And if you're watching on YouTube, please do go ahead, leave a like and subscribe, and leave a comment below if you have seen this because I really really want to know if you have made it all the way to the end of this live stream. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next week. 3 p.m. UK time on Sunday. Have a good weekend and a good rest of your week. Goodbye everyone, see you next time.